All right. <laughs> On the table today, we have more survival mode Minecraft figures from Mattel. This is Armor Up Alex in the package as it would appear on store shelves, running around $12.99. The figures are higher priced but have pretty darn good packaging. On the back of the package we have a quick little image of attaching the armor pieces to Alex, a quick crafting guide, and some of the other figures available. Mining Steve, Tameable Wolf, and Exploding Creeper already explored in the previous video. Well, shall we save Alex from the packaging? And Alex has escaped. These new Mattel figures are pretty spiffy so far. They're a lot larger, again, than the Jazzware figures by a couple inches. They have a pretty cool texture of pixels going around their bodies. The paint is pretty vibrant, and their articulation is pretty good too. You can kind of pop out those shoulders. No action feature on her this time. Rotating head we should have. A little bit of a catch in there, and legs for running. It even looks like this figure is completely different than the Steve figure. Hi Steve! Uh, I see a total different uh, texture going on on them, so they're completely different. Obviously Steve had the action feature for the pickaxe, whereas Alex is just going to put on this armor. Uh, but it's nice to see that they just didn't repaint a figure for reuse. So now we got to put on this enchanted armor. It looks like we've got several pieces going on here. I guess we'll just start off with the easy one, the helmet. And then go from there. I was noticing with Steve he had interesting feet where it looked like you could snap something on and sure enough this is probably for the armor and probably other things down the line. So you can snap those on pretty easy. Maybe if you put on the armor correctly, make sure you put the uh, inside armor like so and that way you won't do what I just did. Anyhow, let's continue. This is kind of fun. Think of all the different armors they could start releasing for this series if they do it this way. It's so simple. Very cool looking sword accessory by the way. And there we go, Armor Up Alex. And that turned out to be pretty fun. I think this will be a big seller as well. Interesting why they chose to work with Alex first on the armor. Maybe just because Steve with the pickaxe is such an iconic uh, design for Minecraft. But there are your first run figures. And I also like how the transparency goes with this armor here. There's a little bit of a sparkle in there. Kind of hard to see it, but there is. And that looks really nice. So this is a pretty cool quality figure. And out of all of them, feels like the most value. Next up we have the Arrow Firing Skeleton, which I could see being a big seller, one of the cooler looking figures of this new Mattel line. On the back of the package, a quick demonstration on how to push button to fire an arrow, a crafting guide for some bow and arrows, and other figures available. Okay Skeleton, it's your turn! Skeleton out and about. So far looking pretty cool. Feels a little taller, a little tippy. Same style of pixelated texture going out throughout the plastic. Fun figure. As for articulation, probably the same as before. Rotating shoulders. 360 head rotation, uh, legs jointed at the hip, possible something to pop in on the feet or use as display stands. Cool. Let's try out the action feature here. We've got a firing arrow 
and it looks pretty simple so far. I think we're just gonna slide this into the groove here. And there's a little release lever over here. Hey Steve, come out here. Come on. All right, he can go there. And line up the shot. Not bad. I would say that would probably shoot about three to four feet maybe. Yeah, you'd probably get about three to four feet out of that. So, fire's pretty good. It'd be nice to see about four of these included. They always just give you one, which is kind of silly, but uh, overall, it's kind of fun. Can he hold his arrow? Oh, yes, I think so. Woohoo! Looks cool. And again, for height, just a tiny bit taller than Steve. Very fun. All right. Not what I expected. And the last figure to take a look at is the somewhat absurd shearable sheep action figure. Out of all the figures they could make, they went with the shearable sheep. This is the type of figure your grandparents bring home the day after Christmas when they were late from traveling. But don't worry, I actually like this figure a lot. I think it's really cool that they've included it. All right, sheepy, let's get your escape going. And the sheep out of the package. Kind of looking a little bit scruffy on the paint job on its face. You gotta kind of look these boxes over and make sure your figure is looking good. Also got some gooey stuff going on on the leg there to get out the goo gone or something. Really funny. Not the figure you want to start your collection on. Definitely the figure you want to end the collection on. Very funny. What do we have for articulation? Well, a little bit of leg movement. So there's something going on in there. You can kind of pose your sheep accordingly. Head. 360 head rotation. Let's uh, pop on this sheep's wool. Nice black piece here. Love the texture on these. Looks pretty simple, I would imagine. And there is your sheep full. Nice full sheep. Is that what you say in the farming community? The sheep is full. Anyhow, let's get out these shears. And it looks like someone can hold on to those shears. Hey, Steve, get out here. Can you hold on to those shears? Okay, so that's good. And uh, go ahead and shear that sheep there, Steve. Oh, is he okay? So that worked pretty well, actually. Just popped right off, a little spring mechanism inside. Obviously, you don't have to use the shears, just press the button up front. It pops right off. One of the greatest toys ever. <laughs> Oops. Oh boy, that is pretty fun. The shearable sheep, everybody. And there we go with these three. Pretty fun overall, even though the price is a little bit high at $12.99 per figure. But it feels like some of them, mainly Alex, fills that price pretty well. Whereas the shearable sheep should have been like half that. Oh yeah, and a quick group shot of all six figures from Wave 1. Good looking group. The Mattel Minecraft action figures are hitting store shelves March 2016. So far they are looking pretty good. And finally, you will be able to practice shearing a sheep in real life. That's what I have to say about that. Back in the day, people sheared squirrels for a nickel. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. What? You haven't opened up the purple Power Ranger yet? That's crazy! I can't wait to see her!